wouldn't like either of these in his pocket? But if you could only have one, which would you select? Which one has the greater value inside and out? And if you were a truck prospect, which of these pickups would you buy? Which represents the greatest truck value? The smart prospect doesn't judge pickup value just from what he sees on the outside. He also knows he gets best value when the inside backs up the outside. And comparisons prove Chevrolet pickup trucks to be value-packed, the best in the business. And it's a big business. In 1959, more than one out of every two Chevrolet trucks sold was a pickup. Pickups which are universally used on farms, construction work, small businesses, large businesses. Just about anywhere there's work to be done. Chevrolet blankets this big and important market with 11 pickup trucks, plus the exclusive El Camino. Available with a wide and flexible range of power combinations, six-cylinder or V8 engines, manual and automatic transmissions, and two- or four-wheel drives. Chevrolet pickups have dominated the pickup market in the past, and in 1960, they provide even greater sales opportunities when compared with Ford, IHC, and Dodge. Only Chevrolet provides completely new and distinctive truck styling, independent torsion spring front suspension, completely new rear suspension, new stronger frames. Here are features that Ford, IHC, and Dodge can't touch. Features that mean extra value to every truck prospect. Let's take a closer look at our light-duty competitors for 1960, starting with Ford. Chevrolet cabs provide more room, more comfort, more convenience. Chevrolet's truck size cabs have almost five and a half inches more headroom than Ford's, almost four and a quarter inches more shoulder room, and over three and three quarters inches more hip room. Important dimensions that spell out far greater comfort for driver and passenger. More glass where it counts. Chevrolet provides 171 more square inches of glass area than Ford. With increasing road speeds and congested traffic conditions, this greater visibility is a very important safety feature. Chevrolet bodies also offer extra value. Chevrolet's six and a half foot fleet side has nearly one and three quarters inches more inside length over three and a half inches more maximum inside width, an inch more between wheel housings, and nearly four and a quarter more cubic foot capacity than Ford's comparable model. More space for bulkier loads. In the eight foot fleet side body, Chevrolet's advantages are even greater. There's over three and a half inches more inside length, over three and a half inches more maximum inside width, one inch wider between wheel housings, and over five and three quarters more cubic feet of capacity. Any way you look at it, a Chevrolet pickup is the best buy, with the most value inside and out. In stepside models, Chevrolet also has important advantages in overall dimensions. The six and a half foot stepside has slightly more maximum inside length and width than Ford's comparable flare side. In eight foot bodies, there's over two inches more in inside length and over one and a half inches more in inside width between wheel housings. Chevrolet pickup bodies also have important advantages in construction features. Chevrolet provides rugged tailgates and wood floors with steel skid strips on all models. Chevrolet's more rugged tailgate keeps its shape and a tight seal longer, while wood floors with steel skid strips mean easier loading and unloading, surer footing and easier servicing. The double wall lower panel on Chevrolet's fleet side models helps protect sidewall sheet metal from damage caused by shifting loads. Durability unmatched by Ford. Now let's look at the Chevrolet and Ford half-ton chassis for 1960. Chevrolet's C14 and C15 models have a maximum GVW rating of 5,200 pounds. Ford's F100, only 5,000 pounds. To back up their GVW, Chevrolet provides rear axle capacity of 3,500 pounds and a total axle capacity of 6,000 pounds. Ford's rear axle is rated at 3,300 pounds with a total axle capacity of only 5,900 pounds. 
Standard front springs on Chevrolet's half-ton models have 155 pounds more capacity than Ford standard front springs and 55 pounds more capacity than Ford's extra cost optional front springs. Here is greater dollar value for any customer who wants to talk price. In rear springs on half-ton models, Chevrolet's standard springs have 35 pounds more capacity per spring than Ford's. And the maximum optional springs have 155 pounds more capacity. For a total spring capacity, 380 pounds greater as standard and 420 pounds greater with the maximum option than Ford can provide. Chevrolet backs up their chassis advantage with high performing engines. Though Ford claims slightly higher horsepower, the Thrift Master 6 provides 14 more gross foot pounds of torque than Ford's 223 6. In optional V8 engines, Chevrolet's Trade Master V8 has a lower horsepower rating than Ford's 292 V8. But both have gross torque ratings of 270 foot pounds. However, Chevrolet's Trade Master develops more torque per cubic inch of displacement, proof that it is a highly efficient, high performing V8. 1960 Chevrolet standard clutches are bigger than Ford's. Our 10 inch clutch has 14 and a half square inches more area than Ford's 10 inch clutch. And our 11 inch clutch for V8 engines has 27.5 more square inches than Ford's comparable clutch. This means Chevrolet clutches will absorb more engine torque, providing longer, more trouble free service. Both Chevrolet and Ford offer a wide variety of transmissions for the half tons. However, Chevrolet's optional three speed and four speed are rated heavy duty, whereas Ford rates its optional three speed as only medium duty and its four speed as a standard type transmission. There's no question about Chevrolet's superiority in one half ton pickups, superiority in cabs and bodies, chassis and powertrains. A superiority which also extends to three quarter ton models. Both Chevrolet and Ford use the same cabs and pickup bodies in three quarter ton models as in half ton models. So let's examine GVW and chassis component capacities. Right down the line, Chevrolet C25 series provides greater value with higher capacities in load carrying components. Chevrolet C25 series has a maximum GVW rating 100 pounds greater than Ford's F250. 600 pounds more total axle capacity, 960 pounds more total spring capacity as standard, and 730 pounds more capacity with optional springs. A very impressive story for any value conscious buyer in any business. Chevrolet C25 series also leads Ford in total square inches of brake lining, a big 41.2 more square inches of stopping power, greater safety and longer brake lining life. Chevrolet's three quarter ton truck has a longer wheelbase, a CA that's five and a half inches longer for better front axle loading. A higher frame section modulus provides greater frame strength and rigidity. These features gain importance as loads become heavier and operating conditions more severe. The C25 has larger standard tires. This means greater tire capacity for longer tire life. Another dollar and cents advantage the customer gets with Chevrolet. Engines and clutches on three quarter ton models are the same as those used in the half tons. Again, Ford falls short of Chevrolet's performance and advanced powertrain components. Chevrolet and Ford offer the same number of transmissions in three quarter ton models. However, Chevrolet's optional three speed and four speed have heavy duty ratings, transmissions that will provide extra service and extra durability. Chevrolet's many cab, body, and sheet metal advantages found in the half and three quarter ton pickups are also found in the one ton models. Let's take a look at one ton chassis components. Chevrolet's maximum GVW for the C30 model exceeds Ford's by 200 pounds. To back this rating, Chevrolet provides up to 430 pounds more in total standard spring capacity and up to 1120 pounds more in total optional spring capacity. Chevrolet C30 series provides a big 19.9 more square inches of brake lining area than Ford's F350. And in standard tires, 
Chevrolet provides rear tires with an 8-ply rating, Ford only a 6-ply rating. More brake capacity for quicker, surer stops, more tire capacity for increased loads and longer tire life. As we look at the overall Chevrolet Ford pickup picture, we find Chevrolet leads Ford with styling, which is fresh, new, and functional. Cabs with more interior room and more glass area. Pickup bodies with more capacity and better construction. Chevrolet's new and modern chassis design features the exclusive torsion spring independent front suspension, completely new rear suspension, sturdier new frames, and higher component capacities. Chevrolet's matched powertrains provide economical, durable truck engines designed for light duty work. Chevrolet's features and advantages provide you with a dollars and cents story that means extra value for the customer and extra sales for you. Now let's take a look at our next competitor in the light duty sales area, IHC. Again, Chevrolet's completely new styling is in sharp contrast to International's minor appearance changes. IHC's cab for 60 is basically the same as its 59 model. In interior cab dimensions, Chevrolet's roomier cab has over three inches more headroom and over two inches more hip room for greater driver comfort and convenience. Chevrolet also provides greater pickup body dimensions. Though IHC's comparable bodies are longer, Chevrolet's six and a half foot fleet side provides over 10 and a half inches more maximum width more width between wheel housings, and greater cubic capacity. In the eight-foot fleet side, Chevrolet supplies over 10 and a half inches more in maximum inside width, has more width between wheel housings, and over three and one-half more cubic feet of load space. Again, all Chevrolet pickup bodies have wood and steel skid strip floors. IHC pickups have steel floors. In load carrying ability, Chevrolet provides greater capacities in its half-ton models. Note that though its GVW rating is lower, Chevrolet exceeds IHC by 200 pounds in rear axle capacity as well as total axle capacity. This means that Chevrolet's load-carrying components have extra ruggedness when compared to their GVW rating. In brakes and frames, Chevrolet's half-ton pickups provide additional value. Over five and a half more square inches of total brake lining area. A higher frame section modulus. More load carrying ability with more stopping power. An ideal combination of safety, durability, and value. In engines for half-ton models, IHC's six-cylinder has higher ratings than Chevrolet's reliable and widely proved Thriftmaster. However, in the optional V8s, the Trademaster outclasses IHC right down the line. Over five more gross horsepower, more than 42 gross foot-pounds of torque, and over 17 more cubic inches of displacement. More V8 power for the customer who wants more snap and go. In the three-quarter ton pickup chassis, Chevrolet C25 leads IHC's B120 by 500 pounds in maximum GVW, 300 pounds in front suspension capacity, and 700 pounds in rear axle capacity a thousand pound advantage in total axle capacity for Chevrolet. In every pickup model, customers get more for their money with Chevrolet. Chevrolet also provides more value in brakes and frames. Over 66 more square inches of brake lining area are provided in Chevrolet C25. Less braking effort is required and service lining life is extended. Frames are also stronger backing up Chevrolet's higher three-quarter ton GVW rating. Chevrolet's advantage in component capacities extends into the one-ton pickups. Chevrolet's 30 series has a lower GVW rating than the IHC's B130, but 400 pounds more front suspension capacity and 1,200 pounds more rear axle capacity, a total axle capacity of 1,600 pounds more. In brakes and clutches, Chevrolet's one ton provides over 48 square inches more brake lining area for quicker, surer stops. Though engines in these models are the same as for half and three quarter ton models, Chevrolet's standard clutch has over eight more square inches of frictional surface area than IHC's B130. In transmissions, Chevrolet provides a four speed synchromesh as standard. 
where IHC provides a sliding gear for speed is standard. This means added driver convenience and smoother operation for Chevrolet pickup owners. Chevrolet offers prospects far greater value than IHC. Chevrolet's styling is completely new. IHC's basically unchanged. Chevrolet cabs have more interior room. Bodies have wood floors with steel skid strips, and there's greater cubic capacity in fleet side models. Chevrolet's new and improved chassis, with stronger, more durable frames, new independent front suspension, and new rear suspension, are unmatched by IHC. Chevrolet engines are designed to better match the performance needs and power range requirements of light duty operators. Dodge 2 has carried last year's styling into 1960. Truly an old fashioned truck. Chevrolet's all welded cab construction means a more weather tight, more durable cab than Dodge's cab of bolted and welded construction. Chevrolet cabs also provide light duty operators with greater interior cab dimensions. Three and four tenths more inches of headroom, four and a quarter inches more shoulder room, and five and a quarter more inches of hip room. And Chevrolet again is way out in front with 209 more square inches of glass area. Greater visibility for drivers on any road with any load. Both Chevrolet and Dodge provide six and a half foot and eight foot pickup bodies. Chevrolet in the fleet side line, Dodge in the swept line models. However, Chevrolet has over five and three quarters inches more maximum inside width, one inch more between wheel housings, and slightly higher cubic capacities. Of course, Chevrolet has wood and steel skid strip floors on all models and double wall construction in the lower body panels of fleet side models. Dodge, all steel floors and single side wall construction. In comparing chassis, we find that Chevrolet C14 half ton has a higher maximum GVW rating than the Dodge D100 and a higher frame section modulus to back up its GVW. In standard engines for the half tons, Chevrolet's Thriftmaster 6 tops Dodge's old fashioned L head 6 with 15 more gross horsepower, 15 more gross foot pounds of torque, and 5.3 more cubic inches of displacement. Yes, Chevrolet has a big advantage in half ton models, advantages that also carry through three quarter ton models. So now let's compare one ton chassis. Chevrolet C30 series has a lower GVW rating than Dodge's D300, but has 700 pounds more front suspension capacity, 700 pounds more rear axle capacity for 1,400 pounds more total axle capacity, and over 17 and a half more square inches of brake lining area. This means bigger payloads, more money-making potential. In frames and tires, Chevrolet C30 has a 1.90 greater frame section modulus and eight ply rated rear tires as standard. Dodge's D300, only a six ply rating. Again, Chevrolet buyers get more for every dollar invested, more value in every mile they travel. Now, let's take a quick check on our major advantages over all of our biggest competitors. Chevrolet's styling is completely new, completely different, and completely functional. Chevrolet cabs provide greater comfort and safety under all operating conditions. Chevrolet pickup bodies have construction features with real dollar saving and dollar earning values. Extra durability plus greater cubic capacity. And Chevrolet's new suspensions, unmatched by competition, provide greater comfort, durability, and load protection help haul more payload faster, more efficiently. Chevrolet powertrains provide flexibility, economy, dependability, and performance matched to light duty load requirements. Comparisons prove that anything less is an old fashioned truck. Demonstrate at every opportunity and sell the features that sell the truck. The first, the finest, most value packed pickup truck on the market. The 1960 Chevrolet. Thank you.